Hello. Have you been stuck refactoring your test code for hours on end with little to no hope of completion? Does execution result of your tests depend on network connectivity, server capacity, weather, and disposition of plans, but not the product itself? Does it take a long time to add new test scripts to your test suite? Does it take hours to run your tests? Do you have to explain the test results to anyone? If you answered yes to any of these questions, or have purchased this course already, Welcome to my course, Building UI Automation Test Frameworks with Selenium WebDriver. Let me start with a subtle humble brag. My name is Stanislav Fedi. I'm a software development engineer in testing. Over the course of my 10-year career so far, I've been a manual test engineer, test automation engineer, team lead, and a SDET. I have developed several test automation frameworks from scratch to satisfy the needs of the projects I was involved in. In addition to that, I've mentored and trained a bunch of test engineers to increase their Java and WebDriver skills in order to transition into test automation roles. Now that I'm done talking about myself, let me briefly describe what you will learn in this course. We will start with an overview of WebDriver's capabilities and an introduction to a set of tools that will make your life easier and your test scripts more effective. Then we will break down a test framework into components in order to understand their purpose and the general structure of any framework. And then we will go deeper all the way to working with web elements and how to locate them in the most efficient manner possible. After we're done with this undoubtedly important topic, we will have a look at the page object model and the industry standard approaches to page object design. This will lead to a dive in design patterns and principles. This will help you increase the quality of your Java code. After we're done with software design patterns and all the acronyms, we'll have a look at a very special test reporting tool that will breathe new life into your test reports. Then, we will have a look into scaling your test execution. Because no one lives forever, and surely no one has time to wait until test run is completed. In conclusion, we will have a look at how to integrate all this magnificence into a continuous integration process of your project. 